Can we generate a pulse with modulated signal from a three phase inverter? My name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question again. Can we actually generate a pulse with modulated signal from a three phase inverter? Well, let's find out. So a basic pulse with modulated signal would look something like this. So it has an alternatively on and off position. That is, this pulse with modulated signal is basically used to turn on and turn off a particular switch. When it comes to this condition, the switch is turned on. And when it comes to this condition, the switch is turned off. So this is what a basic pulse with modulated signal looks like. So can we generate this signal from a three phase inverter? Well, for that, let me draw a single phase of a three phase inverter. So a single phase of a three phase inverter would look something like this. So here this is the DC voltage supply and a single phase would look somewhat like this. So here it has two switches say S1 and S2. So let this be a particular phase say phase A. And now let us connect a load across this. So in order to connect a load across this, if this was VDC, let me split this VDC into two halves. So therefore here it would be VDC by 2 and here another half say VDC by 2 and now let us connect a particular load over here like this. So here what we can observe is that there are two SCRs connected here and SCR is a device which has got a third terminal here where when a triggering pulse is given to it, it starts conducting. So therefore this here acts as a switch. So here let us assume that first we give a triggering pulse here and this switch is on. So when this switch is on, a particular voltage of VDC by 2 would be obtained across this particular load like this. Okay, but now when this switch is turned on, then what we observe is that the circuit comes like this and therefore a voltage of minus VDC by 2 is obtained across the load. So therefore we obtain something like this. That is this is plus VDC by 2. And this is minus VDC by 2. So therefore, we can obtain something like this by alternatively turning on this switch and this switch. So therefore, what you guys can deduce from this is that if we formulate some kind of a mechanism in which these two switches can be alternatively turned on, then we can obtain a pulse with modulated signal across this particular load. So for that, what we use is that we use two signals over here, a sine wave and a triangular wave. So here let this be say S1 and let this be say S2. So what we do here to alternatively turn S1 and S2 on is that it is very simple. We will compare a sine wave with a triangular wave as simple as that. That is if at a particular point if sine wave is greater than the triangular wave then we can say that switch S1 is on and switch S2 is therefore off. And therefore, we would obtain plus VDC by 2 over here. And now, let us assume that at some particular point, sine wave is less than the triangular wave. If this is the case, then switch S1 will be off, but let's switch S2 be on. In such kind of a case, we can obtain minus VDC by 2 across a particular load. And hence, obtaining a pulse with modulated signal. How is that? Well, for that, let us actually compare a sine wave and a triangular wave over here. Let's do it. So now let us assume a particular sine wave and a triangular wave like this. So according to the condition that we've seen here, if the sine wave is greater than the triangular wave, then switch S1 is on and therefore we get plus VDC by 2. And if sine wave is less than the triangular wave, then S2 is on, therefore we get minus VDC by 2. So here what we observe is that in this particular area, the sine wave is less than the triangular wave. So therefore, if sine wave is less than the triangular wave, switch S1 is off and S2 is on. Therefore, as S2 is on, we get minus VDC by 2 here from this region. Therefore, till here, we get minus VDC by 2. And now from here to over here, we observe that sine wave is greater than this particular triangular wave. So therefore, till over here, we get plus VDC by 2 because as sine wave is greater than the triangular wave, S1 is turned on and since S1 is turned on, we get plus VDC by 2. And now again what we observe is that till over here, sine wave is less than the triangular wave. Therefore, as sine wave is less than triangular wave, S2 is turned on and therefore we get minus VDC by 2. 
and here for this particular region a small region over here what we observe is that sine wave is greater than the triangular wave and therefore we get plus vdc by 2 and here sine wave is less than the triangular wave and therefore we get minus vdc by 2 and therefore here what we observe is that a pulse with modulated signal like this is obtained with the peak amplitudes of plus vdc by 2 and minus vdc by 2 as simple as that guys so guys this thus is the basic mechanism through which how we can obtain a pulse with modulated signal from a single phase so if the same concept is applied to all the three phases we can simply obtain a pulse with modulated signal from a three phase inverter as simple as that guys as simple as that there's nothing more to it as simple as that all we do here is compare a sine wave with the triangular wave if the sine wave is greater than the triangular wave switch s1 is on and therefore we get plus vdc by 2 and if sine wave is less than the triangular wave switch s2 is turned on and therefore we get minus vdc by 2 as simple as that so guys this thus sums up how you can produce a pulse with modulated signal from a three phase inverter as simple as that so I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can produce a pulse with modulated signal from a three phase inverter and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.